Okay, read me the division problem. 111 divided by 3. Okay, so we're going to write it. 111 divided by 3. And I'm going to start out with them, some three facts. First one is what? 3 times 1 3. Okay, now just tell me the product. 3. 3. 6. The next. 9. Next. 12. Next. 15. Okay, I want a product that's close to 111. That's my dividend. I don't have one that's close enough, so I can take these facts and add what? Zero. 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 Okay, so let's just do the next five. I'm going to write these same products again. Because here's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and here's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, with one zero added. So what will I add to these? A zero. How many? One. One. This becomes? 30. Next. 60. Next. 90. Next. 120. Why am I stopping here? It's over. It's over. Right. I now have enough. Okay. I'm definitely going to be able to make enough groups of three. Which fact should I start with? Camden? Three times three. Equals what? 30. Okay. So what I'm going to do is three times 30, or I'm going to subtract 30 groups of what? Three. three. 30 groups of 3 equals? 90. 90. Let's subtract. 1 minus 0? 1. I'll just think about this as 11 minus 9 is? 2. 2. Okay. What is this number telling me? Keep going. Why? Because you have enough to make uh, more. I have enough here to make more groups of 3. How many more groups of 3 should I do next? Based on what I have. Jessica? Um. Seven times. Oh, I don't have that one. Even if you know it, I don't have it. Uh, like I, maybe I don't know that fact. Three times five. Okay, I'll use this one. Here's one that I know. Three times five. So I'm going to subtract five groups of three, three which equals 15. 15. 15. 21 minus five. Oh, I just count that back in my head. What is it? Six. Six. What is this number telling me? Keep on going. You have enough to make more groups of three? This is the last one, probably. Anyone got last fact, Colton? Um, three times three. So I'm going to subtract two groups of three, which equals? Six. six. And six minus six is? Zero. What is this telling me? It's not stop. A There's no remainder, and I can stop, but I need to find out my quotient. I subtracted 30 groups of three, five groups of three, and two groups of three. How can I find my answer? Elise. Okay, let's do this first. What's 30 plus 5? 35. And 35 plus 2? 37. What's my quotient? 37. Very nice. Alright, the next problem is what? Read this, everybody. 252, 252 divided, divided by, by four. 4. So let me set it up. 252 divided by 4, and I'm going to start writing facts for what times table? Four. Fours. Fours, okay. I'll do the first few. Four times one is? Four. Times two? Eight. Eight. Times three? Twelve. Times four? Sixteen. Times five? Twenty. Do any of these products get me close to this dividend? No. Let's add some, okay. Four times ten? Forty. Forty. How'd you know that? We just added a zero. Yeah, you take... Yeah. 4 times 1 plus a 0 here and a 0 here. 4 times 20? 8 plus a 0. 8 plus a 0 or 80. 4 times 30? 120. 4 times 40? 160. And 4 times 50 is? 200. Out of these products, where should we go first? I want to subtract groups of 4. Riley? Um, do 4 times 50. Okay, so I'm going to subtract 4 times 50, or what I'm going to do is subtract 50 groups of 4, which equals what? 200. 200. Help me subtract. 2 minus 0? 2. 5 minus 0? 5. Okay, next. Charles. We do 4 times 10. Okay. Times 40. So let's subtract 10 groups of 4 from 52. 2 minus 0? 2. 5 minus 4? 1. Ah, I think this is the last one. Dalton. Um, next. 
What's happening here? What am I doing? Um, you're doing three groups of four. I'm going to subtract three groups of four. Very nice. Which is? Plus 12. And 12 minus 12? Zero. What does this tell us? No, no remainder. There's no remainder, and I need to stop because I cannot make any more groups of four. I subtracted 50 groups of four, 10 groups of four, and three groups of four. I need to know my quotient. Emma, do you remember how? It's 50. Let's stop there. What's 50 plus 10? 60. And Emma, what's the rest of it? And 10 plus 3. Okay, so we're going to add all three uh, sums. 50 plus 10 is everybody? 63. Plus 3 is? 3. 63. Let's do that one more time. 50 plus 10 is? 60. Plus 3 is? 63. What's my quotient? 63. Nice.